Good morning, and welcome once again to Daily Disciplines. It seemed right to me to just take at least one more episode and kind of talk a little bit more about these whole reasons for failure that we've been talking about. And I guess the, <laughs> the reason I want to talk about it is because I don't want you to get the idea that those are the only things that bring failure in one's life. They certainly are a list of 10 reasons why people fail, 10 things that you could do that would absolutely guarantee failure, but it's not the only list of reasons why people fail. And so I wanted to just take a few moments on today's episode to touch on 10 more. No, we're not, we're not going to take these 10 in detail as we did the last 10, but at least not at the current moment. But I do visualize the time in not too distant future when we will take more time to investigate these. These come to us from our good friend John Maxwell and the people at Equip, a great group of people that I'm privileged to work with now um, on a, well, a quite frequent basis and have been going to India twice a year for the last six years. And in the very new future, we'll probably begin going to the country of Greece twice a year for three to six years. And perhaps other areas on the globe to teach some of the concepts that I'm trying to share with you on daily disciplines. And the list that, that uh, the Equip organization shares with us goes in a little bit different direction, but they are powerful nevertheless, and they do deserve some really um, unpacking of the idea, as uh, I enjoy saying. So let me just list those 10 things and maybe make a comment or two on each one of them as we move on with today's episode. Number one on the list is poor people skills. You know, it will be interesting, I think, as we move along through this particular list, to realize that every one of these things is very much within my control. Every one of these things is very much within your control. And so, you say, but Skip, uh, you know, I, I'm not sure that I have much in the way of people skills. And my encouragement would be to you, get some. <laughs> you say, well, well, yeah, but, you know, aren't there people that are just kind of born good with people? I don't know. I think there are people that are that are born with a more pleasing personality, with a few less rough edges. But I think real people skills can be learned by anyone. And here's just a thought that you can begin to work on. You're a people. <laughs> Say, whoa, all right, thank you very much. You're very welcome. You know how you like to be treated. I know how I like to be treated. And so if I treat people the way I want to be treated, I have a whole kit full of people skills. In fact, I probably have all that I need. We'll talk more about that in the future. Number two is a negative attitude. Well, attitude is always a matter of our choosing. You can have a positive attitude, you can have a negative attitude. Number three, not playing to your strengths. We all have strength, we all have weakness. Why is it that we so frequently turn to our weaknesses? Number four is a lack of focus. Number five is a lack of commitment. Number six is an unwillingness to change. We get locked into the status quo and we think this is it, but we need to change. Number seven, taking shortcuts. Number eight, relying on talent alone. Number nine, response to poor information. And number 10, no goals. Those are very important reasons. Top in fact, many believe the top 10 reasons why people fail, we've just listed. 
So take a look at them. Evaluate yourself. That daily discipline look in the mirror. Have a great day. We'll talk again soon.